Hi there everyone and welcome back to my video. Today I'm creating with Couture Creations translucent alcohol ink paper and I'm going to show you how you can create with this paper using the alcohol ink markers and some of the stamp sets that are available now from the Lucy's Everyday Collection. This is a beautiful stamp. It's the stamp um, with the bird and a branch on a branch. It comes with the bird and also these few leaves and also this beautiful sentiment. She believed she could and she did. I also created a shaker card because that's a great way of using translucent paper to add dimension also with the shaker card. And also colouring on um, translucent paper and then adding it to some glitter cardstock. I've just wanted to show you how quick and easy it is to create simple cards that are really quite effective using the alcohol ink markers and translucent paper with a stays in place ink pad. So here we go. So to create this card first of all I have a piece of translucent paper here translucent paper comes in A4 and I've just cut it down to this size here to go on my card this is a stamp set and this is the ink that I'm going to use this is the alcohol ink stays in place jet black and I'm using the precision stamp set or stamp press to stamp onto my translucent paper using this stamp and also the stays in place jet black ink pad. Quick and easy and I really love this press because if you have if you haven't inked it properly you just have to re-ink it and press it down again. So I'm just positioning there. The stamp press comes with two precision magnets but you can buy extra ones if you need to. So it's really quick and easy stamping on translucent paper. Now it will be wet and that's why I need to, you need to be careful once you stamp on it, let it completely dry before you colour in. Now I'm not colouring in on top of it because if you do that, you will actually move the alcohol ink. We are going to colour on the reverse side. Remember, the reverse side. The Twin Tips alcohol ink markers come in 108 colours. And this is a swatch book that's really good to colour in and have on hand to know all the colours that you need to use for creating with the markers. So remembering I'm colouring in on the reverse side. I can't emphasise that. If I was to colour on top of the stamped image, I'll be moving the actual ink and that's not what you want to do. And being translucent, it will show through and it comes out beautifully. You can uh, colour anything, you can stamp anything on translucent paper and once it's coloured in you can cut it out with some die cuts or fuzzy cut as I have done once I coloured in with my alcohol ink markers. Listed down below in the description I have all the colours I've used to create my little bird and on a branch with leaves. So once it's all coloured in I'm now going to trim it to size, but before I do that, I'm going to be placing it on some Mupo paper, which I'm going to colour with some alcohol inks. So I'm using two colours from the Golden Age alcohol inks, and the two colours that I've used are listed down below. I'm just watering it down with Isopro alcohol and just giving a very subtle, very goldy, glittery effect to I don't want to stand out because my image is going to stand out. Before I place that on my card I'm going to stamp some khaki stays in place colour of some script uh, ink ink sort of stamp on it on, on it to give some texture and then I'm also going to now stamp the word um, on the phrase that's with the stamp she believes she could so she did. The Yupo paper is available in A4 packs and I've just trimmed this size down to a 5 by 7 So here you can see me, once I place that on my precision stamp press, I'm going to position where I want my stamp sentiment to go and then I'm just going to stamp it onto the actual Yupo paper. Remembering it takes a few minutes to dry because this is a non-porous surface. So 
So you can see I fuzzy cut my bird on my branch and it fits beautifully on my card. I matted it on some purple cardstock and I also um, coloured in some more extra leaves. The stamp set has a, a small leaf and an extra leaf and I stamped some more of the translucent paper, coloured it in with alcohol ink markers and added some flowers as well down the bottle, bottom. I glued the transparent paper with quick dry adhesive glue. It's the best glue. It dries clear and you don't see any glue marks underneath when it's dry. So just a very quick easy card creating with translucent paper and the wonderful finish you get from the alcohol golden age inks. They look really pretty and you get a really nice stunning effect on your cards. Really quick and easy. So the other card I created was the uh, shaker card and that also looks quite effective with the transparent bird on the on the front. Um, the other card, so this is a card, the shaker card, and added the word hugs from the Homely Florals collection. Again here I did another transparent, this is from the Homely Florals stamp set. I have the list of the code down below in my video and added the word hugs. So thank you for joining me here today. I hope I've inspired you to create and colour with the translucent alcohol ink paper, the twin tipped alcohol inks and alcohol inks from Couture Creations. As I said before, I have a list of all the products I've used in the link down below in the description. Please give a big like if you like this video and please comment below if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and be sure to visit couturecreations.com.au for more inspiration from all the design team and all the latest products that are coming out for paper crafting. Thanks for joining me here today. Bye for now.